everyone, we're here with Project Glamour Geeks. My name is Sarah and we're here with... I'm Mia! I'm Carisha. And we are here today talking about the Black Widow movie. We're doing our makeup looks that are inspired by our interpretation of the Black Widow movie. So we are very excited to be here. I'm really excited what we're gonna see if we each see something similar or we're gonna do something different. <laughs> I'm I'm extra excited to see uh, how closely related we can be. We, we did not discuss any of this beforehand. We yeah. just were like, we're gonna do this. No, we here we not. are. <laughs> Blind date with makeup, here we go. Yes. But yes. Um, oh, love that idea. Everyone's seen it so far, right? Everyone saw the movie? Please yes. say yes, okay. I did, Goodness. for sure. So excited. I also did. I saw it on opening night. I was going to be good and just stream it at home, but no one in our theater was there on that. They had like so many showings and one was mm. like completely empty and we did reserve seats. So I was like, let's go. And so we had the whole theater to ourselves. <gasps> Same. That's and it was amazing. amazing. I was like, oh, okay. I live five minutes from the theater. So I just kept checking. If I live far away, I wouldn't try to risk that. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> yes. And I'm using, I brought my Black Widow makeup that I have to use today because of course <laughs> of course I have yeah. no such thing right, what type same. of skin type do you guys have I have normal I guess I just got it recently like had it figured out so like I don't know but normal I have oily okay especially in my t-zone I'm very oily okay okay I am the opposite I am dry dry to oh. dry to normal so this is cool because that means we could talk about different products for our different skin types. Yes. Yes. Like, um, the blurring primer pore minimizer by Cover FX. This is my favorite. <gasps> I like that brand. Ooh. I think it was one of the ones I talked about. No, oh, I used the. Mm. I like NYX's. Um their uh primers a lot and elf elf and nyx have really good like primer matte primers mm -hmm. before we have oily skin so i like nyx's products or nyx i guess i call it nyx but that's probably not how you pronounce it you know i also right. call it nyx and i am also a thousand percent sure that is not how you say it we'll have it die hard yeah i like their um different stuff that i've tried from there and I haven't tried anything mattifying because I don't think I've, I've never needed it, but I should try it and see what it does to my skin because I'm very curious. Mm. Yes. Have you tried Do any you... of their lip products? Oh, yes. I love their, like, I think it's called the Velvet Lip. I think. Ooh. That sounds. I still haven't tried that yet. Ooh. Should it's I like try butter. it? Butter. Oh, like man. Butter. Okay. Yes. I think. What was this? of the lingerie or the x one this is the one like i've tried it it's a nice match mm -hmm. so good and it's so, this one especially mm -hmm. this one is such a pretty color because i wanted like a deep red and this is for sure it that's awesome deep red see uh, mm -hmm. maybe i'm maybe i'm the bougie one here because my my <laughs> my red is is from mac um nope that's velvet teddy <laughs> so sorry it's a ruby woo and it is like Ooh. the pure red. Look at this red. That is if that red. isn't a pure red, I don't know what is. That's like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> That's like you stole the rose and you stuffed it in a bottle red. Truly, truly. All right. You know what's so interesting seeing yourself in a, in a camera? Cause I'm like, oh, my eyebrow isn't exactly as filled as I thought. Or oops, there's a little bit too much space. <laughs> the camera's not lying to me. I'm lying to me. I always think it's interesting too, especially like you see you have your perception of your face, but then you look in different <laughs> mirrors and you're like, oh, from different angles, this is very interesting. I am so uneven. My face isn't. And especially lighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Yep. So, what was everyone's favorite part of the movie? <laughs> The pockets and the vest. I could relate with that. I'm like, all the dresses I buy, they have pockets. Uh, and people are yes. like, I'm gonna dress. Oh I'm like, God, I have yes. pockets. And I troll knit. That was my favorite. I'm pretty sure. Um, this was my first time seeing 
the the actress who plays the sister. See, I'm I'm already Florence. Yes, yes, thank you. Florence. It was my first time seeing Florence in a performance and mm -hmm. I was completely blown away. Completely. Specifically, specifically. The scene where they're sitting at the Look, spoiler alert. If you haven't watched it, it's not our fault. Don't um, watch this video <laughs> if you haven't seen it. Um, right. Specifically where he's sitting at the dinner table with everybody mm -hmm. and they're going back and forth talking about, well, this didn't matter to me and this didn't matter to me. And she's like, yeah. And she starts yes. getting emotional and she like turns away and she's like taking a breath and like, <sighs> because she's trying to hold back her tears because she's so upset. Right. I was like. I'm in this scene with you. I'm feeling what you're feeling. You have me mm -hmm. fully engaged with your acting process. In fact, you aren't even an actor. This is you. You are living this. And I was just like, all right, I'll, I will watch anything yeah. she's in. That that got my eyes misty. I was like, I first what? saw her in uh, Little Women, the new uh, one. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, she was the youngest okay. sister, Amy, correct? Yes. And then Kreisha, what was your favorite part? Um, how they were just like dissing the superhero pose that uh, <laughs> yes! Kasha does. This little sister was talking about like, what is this superhero? And she's the fact of the matter is she's doing it in convenience store. Like, no, the moves you get down and you just flip your hair. She's right? Like, Why? And then, <laughs> and then of course, spoiler alert: when she does it herself, she's like, she does it, and then she's like, ew. That was, <laughs> my, I just. It was hilarious, yeah, truly. Was, she just had so much spunk and sass. It, it was just so funny to watch her. That was literally the most like sisterly thing ever, that whole scene. I was like, oh, if anyone has any little sibling. <laughs> I am, I'm the oldest of three. I fully understand. Yeah, I'm the oldest of six. And you're the I oldest get, of six. I am the oldest of six. Jeez. And I would get so harassed like that. I was watching that. I was like, oh, yup, I see this. Especially since I know I'm extra, and my siblings 100% made fun of me and things I did. They were like, this is totally you. I'm like, yep. Oh, man. I So, my brother is um, six years younger than me, and he's 6'4", so mm -hmm. I call him Lil Big Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive. And I'm the tallest female, so I'm super -de duper tall. Mm -hmm. I mean, comparatively, I'm in a Hispanic household. Hispanics are typically yeah, shorter, back. so um, definitely on the taller end of that spectrum. But my brother is skyrocketed up there, so I can relate. Um, all of my five younger siblings are over six foot, and I'm five four. <gasps> no way! So <laughs> I'm the short one. My brother would always be like. Oh, you're gonna get like you're gonna. This is morbid, but you're gonna drop first, <laughs> and I'm like, you're gonna get hit by lightning first. So, <laughs> I mean, and you know what? You're not right. I mean, you are right. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, you are right. You are right. Oh, I'm gonna start saying that to him every time he tries to call me old. <gasps> yes. If anyone hasn't seen the Black Widow palette, I am of course shamelessly oh, using this. Please, uh, yes. can, can we see the inside of it? Yeah, I want to see the colors. These are the colors. Oh yeah. Oh those, yeah. Some matte, some shimmery. Those are gorgeous. For those of you who don't know, Black Widow has been my favorite since I was little. So like I've basically bought everything that had Black Widow on oh, it. Oh, so <laughs> you've always loved her? Yes. Tell me how you became acquainted with her. Yeah. Um, so I found her in Barnes & Noble in the comic book section. Um, I did not have a very like happy childhood and so like one of the escapes of actually getting out was going to bookstores um so there was a comic trade there. war stories one day oh yes and <laughs> there is a black widow there in a comic i don't remember what edition because i was like 10 sorry everyone um but i just started reading i was like hooked i was hooked on marvel but black widow was my favorite because she was so resilient and stuff mm. and obviously as i grew up there's other superheroes i like too but that was she's my favorite so uh, that started my obsession so i've definitely been waiting for this movie i waited for it for a very long time oh how angry were you when you realized yeah. that they were giving this movie too late oh i was angry <laughs> <laughs> it's seeping through i can feel it yes it was disappointing but you know what i'm glad 
we got one at least because it could have easily been like no the time has passed so i'm glad that we actually did end up getting a movie because i know that there was like two other versions that they kept canceling <laughs> really um, yeah there was like a rated r version i don't remember the writers and then there was one that i think they tried to take like a more comical route so it was like a really gritty one and they just kept like ditching the scripts and then they finally made this one and i'm like i'm really happy with it i'm happy they didn't go the co- like they allowed some comedy but i'm i'm happy they didn't go straight up comedy because how weird yeah that i'm like that would be a little strange yeah i i would have loved an r-rated black widow movie i feel like right. that it could have been really good truly well considering her story too mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like obviously like the movie isn't perfect, but it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm happy Rats. with this. Is, is there anything? So what? Not so much. Is there anything? What would you change? I would have given her a better send off versus just riding off in the jet. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like yep. we could have had. And I guess there was an article leak like a few days ago that there is an alternate ending they cut that they think they're going to put in the special edition where it shows her like in Ohio just driving around after the movie. And I'm like, I would love to see that. Please put it in at least. But um, it just feels weird how they're like, and then we go to Infinity War. I'm like, you could have just done this in the beginning, but yeah. I I personally am am only angry because Disney's been at the forefront of so and I and I said this on the on the uh high five podcast. So I'm just gonna reiterate it here reiterate. because I'm gonna regurgitate it as many times as it takes for reiterate. people to understand how angry I am because <laughs> Disney gypped themselves. They did. They they, they did. oh my gosh. And I just they could have been at the forefront of mm-hmm. female uh led superhero movies and they okay. didn't do that. Mind you, Wonder Woman is actually the first female uh, comic book character and it's the love of my life. So I will always support that. Yep. But also, Disney, you were at the forefront of the rest of it. So why couldn't you be fearless with this character and this role and do that? Mm-hmm. She should have been she should have happened before Captain Marvel. Oh, 100 percent Which I love that yeah, movie definitely. too. But <laughs> um I 100 percent agree. It just it felt very out of place. And I'm glad, and it felt like a total like apology film, like we have to, yep. like an afterthought. But I do appreciate that they actually took it seriously and mm-hmm. made a decent film because I was like, if you give me a shitty film after I've waited 10 years, <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> not that it's like my choice completely, you know, but right, um, right. as a fan, I'm like, this right. is not, don't do my girl dirty. Like, <laughs> please don't. Now, to I would I would say to piggyback off of you, mm-hmm. like I felt with this film, she had more character and it showed that she can fight more. Because like in every Marvel movie, maybe it's just me, I just felt like her little move was like the only move you see. She jumps on a flip mm-hmm. them and then lands in her superhero pose. That was like the only thing you saw that she did. But in yeah. this film, it showed that she could do so much more and fight people and it felt like okay well you had all these other girls but I'm like almost the original one they ain't got nothing on me and I like that on the show yeah. that with her you know so I that's why we'll give them props for that I 100% agree <laughs> they show Holy. more skill set for sure which is good because she actually is pretty impressive in the comics like I know she's not she's technically in the comics a winter soldier so is uh, she? Uh, is that, yeah, she's a super soldier. Whole... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Which they don't see, really I touch on. To make sure that this was something what? that I didn't want to do. So, and it really, really isn't. So, I'm going to go with my original idea. <laughs> and not uh, dye my eyeball red. <laughs> You're like, as fun as this is, I uh-huh. opt out of this experience. <laughs> Yep. I'm going to I'm going to go with my original idea. Why did I even stray from the path? Mia, what are you doing? Parting hard. I wish. Stick to the plan. I wish I was partying hard. <laughs> right? I miss it. After the pandemic, we will all party hard. Okay, but my party hard consists of me like 
maybe one or two drinks at Applebee's with some appetizer and <laughs> that it's all different to everyone. <laughs> That's like my party heart. <laughs> Mine is give me some ice cream and a lot of books or games. Yes. Game night. I will party hard that way. <laughs> I have oh, so many oh, different sorry, party modes. I'm I'm good with all of those plus some dancing plus some like, dancing is also good. Good. I love dancing. 110%. Uh, that is not the color I'm looking for. Where is the color I'm looking for? Oh, there it is. I believe in you. I believe in me too. You. you can do it. I it's only something. believe in myself on Wednesdays, though. Only on Wednesdays? <laughs> only on Wednesdays. Why are you doing yourself a disservice oh, like that? Because I can't. Kidding. Okay, look, I'm not kidding. gonna stop you and tell you you're wrong, but also I'm gonna stare She's like, at you. But I will though. Yes. So I, gotta... I am an that avid one. baby wipe user. Oh yes. Avid. Avid. They're oh, not you should get the it's in my bed. You should get the magic eraser wipe uh um like wipes or not wipes, but like makeup removers. And it's like a mm-hmm. little cloth and you just add water to it and like when I tell you you can remove a lot of that stuff I easily. Used to own that. I don't know what happened to it, but you're right. You are oh. right. You need to get one of those are awesome. Yeah. Super awesome. My goodness. I like the white suit she had too in this one. <gasps> the white suit yes. is so sexy. Fun. Yes. I'm like, yes, it's so cute. And of course, people are like, are they trying to say something with the white suit? And I'm like, it's because she was in the snow, everyone. <laughs> she is oh, out in the snow. What What did they think that was trying? Get it together. Get it together. They're like, well, Everybody, obviously died. So now she's like, this white Miss Maya. And I'm like, no. <laughs> If you watch the trailer, you know she was in the snow. It's gonna be fine. Mm-hmm. Righty. But total, but total random um, thought was anybody excited uh, um, about the mom? The I, what was her name? Rachel. Oh Rachel my gosh. Yes. 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 Only thing, because we're. we're Tell me, like, for me, maybe it's just me, because I had the biggest crush on her in The Mummy. So um, the fact yes. that she played, like, the mom, I was like, ah! I was so excited. Um, I was like, yes. This. <laughs> I feel the casting. And I, maybe, and Marvel gets it right a lot of times. I feel that the casting for this was so good. Oh, like, yeah. It was good. It worked. Who, and then how they just all interact. And, you're gonna get the back punch. That killed me. That killed me every time. Even when I saw it in the mm-hmm. in the trailer, when I saw it in the theater, when I think about it enough, makes me laugh, cracks me up. I love their discussion about fallopian tubes on the plane and making him very uncomfortable. Right? <laughs> that was my favorite. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Yes. That's amazing. She's like, she basically was telling him, You think you're so manly. Here. Here. Yeah. Right. Here's everything. Are you though? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Am I still changing it up even now? Yes, I am. Why? Because I'm a crazy person. Well, you are all good. I'm about to put glitter on my eyeballs. Not on my eyeballs, but you oh, are brave. so brave. I hate glitter right. on my eyeballs. So, I, 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 you, you brave. Only <laughs> the cosmetic grade glitter that's biodegradable. Not I please just, do not put I craft glitter, glitter on your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Yes, we glitter, do not support I, the use of uh, craft glitter on your eyeballs. I no. just have nightmares about glitter. That's fair. Because I, I work with kids, so glitter and like little kindergarten and first graders, no, no, don't do it. That sounds terrible. 100%. Just put, see, NYX, the glitter primer. This is what I use. I use that one too. It's so fun. I had me too. Oh, don't close your eyes. <laughs> Did you mean open them? Oh yeah. Sorry, I put the glue on my eyes, and then I'm talking to you guys, and I like looked up, and I'm like, I'm feeling my eye makeup tacking together, and I'm like, don't look up. Don't okay. do it to your And I'm using like a really fine red glitter because Sarah's glitter. I mean, I doubt. 
Natasha would ever wear glitter in her right mind, but. Absolutely not. Okay, I'll save the rest of the eyeliner for. But just, these are our fun exactly. interpretations, so. Yes. I'm doing a party glam makeup. <laughs> And I'm doing some really weird oh, geometric so many... line thing. Just so I wasn't going off the screen. And I'm, <laughs> I'm just seeing if I'm going to go crazy with... Like, there's like two of them mm -hmm. I really saw and I liked. And the idea, I'm like... Mm. Love it. So we're going to try this. And hopefully it goes right because I, I don't exactly have the right uh, liner, but we got this. I believe in myself. I believe, I believe in, in you well. too. Team belief <laughs> right here. We are seriously so supportive. It is bananas. <laughs> right. Is anyone else excited for There's Hawkeye because Florence line. is going to be in it again? Um, I know a majority of people yeah. are. I'm excited so. for it, and I'm just seeing how the story would go from there, especially like how Black Widow ended after mm -hmm. the credits. I'm just super Excuse excited, me. like how they're gonna do it. Oh yeah, I'm like most of the characters on the show. I don't really care either way, but <laughs> I'm mostly like when she they said that her character was gonna be in there. I was like, oh, I guess I'll watch it. I'm a little bit more interested. Just kidding, you're a lot more like interested. I'm gonna get in trouble for this. <laughs> but I, I feel like Hawkeye that. is like the friend's parent you call when you're like stuck at a party. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> you're like, can you come pick me up? You're totally right, and that's worse. I'm in trouble now. So I'm worse. gonna get unfriended. If we get hate mail, I'm sorry. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. They need to deal with your. Uh... <laughs> it's real. It's a really funny one, though. You just said something we can't. Okay, I gotta pull the center closer. There's no way I can do a felt tip fine line this far away. <laughs> I'm like I can't see. I could try it. Well, but I got my eyes so pretty. I don't want it messed up. I don't blame you. Oh. Well, we're just saying this is a spider web on my eye. Love it. Literally, most of the makeup I have. This is another NYX pen. I'm like, everything. Stop. Stop. Is it the skinny eye marker? It is the. Let me pull it back up again. Sorry. It is the. That's the point. Ah, okay. I had that one at one point. I, I, okay. Oh, are we just showing our next? Hold on, hold on. This is not the normal one I use. This is the Epic Wear. One, yeah, see, guys, we need to sponsor sponsor us because come on, us. <laughs> I didn't expect this to turn into a NYX haul video, but basically, that's what we're having, that is what we're doing. One line, I just like getting my liners like super thin points so I can draw up as thick as I want. So I'd rather start with a thinner line than a thicker one. Absolutely. I fully agree. Right. Although, because I have very unsteady hands, they usually end up being thick anyway. So imagine if I were going for a thick line, I just end up covering my whole eye. That's fair. Right. Okay. Never through three lines. What is what is the worst movie experience you've ever had? And then what's the best movie experience you've ever had? I don't remember the name of the movie, but there was a movie me and my dad went to when I was a teenager. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And literally, it turned into like super raunchy, and it was just awkward going with my dad as like a preteen to the movie where it was super raunchy. And I was like, this is the most uncomfortable thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, no, that sounds horrific. No, no and he didn't realize that it was gonna be that. either. So we were sitting there, we were both like, eh, don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. I, it's a shame you can't that remember the movie because that's You know, it's crazy seeing how eyeliner changes your eye shape. Yes, 
I agree. <laughs> yeah. One has it. I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, that was my most uncomfortable experience. What about you guys? Um, there was that, there was a movie uh, not too long ago that was, um, like, it was movie 43 or something. So mm-hmm. it was a, co- a collection of basically short films in one, in one movie. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I didn't know there was going to be a ginormous shark. Um, and <gasps> this, this movie was filled and it's, it wasn't exactly like it was the most popular movie, but I used to live in a military town so dumb movies like that were totally up their alley um (laughs) and so i was there watching just like everybody else was not prepared and i screamed (laughs) like nobody's business i was so embarrassed and everybody turned around and was like are you okay but my my phobia is sharks i cannot i can't do it i cannot do it i have like no i got one so Sorry, go ahead. Oh, go no, ahead, go ahead. no, okay, you go ahead. <laughs> okay, so mine is kind of like that, but like it wasn't so much me as in my mom. So, my mom is very scary, like the simplest thing scares her. I'm talking about she screamed during Iron Man 1, okay? She screamed during like the first three Transformers where there's nothing scary in it. So, at the time, it was Transformers 3. And she screamed during that movie, like, two times. But the, like, the final straw for me was, it was dead silent. They were driving, meeting up with, like, another character. And all of a sudden, she screamed, Krisha, Krisha, that's my car, Krisha. That's my car. <gasps> that's I so funny. Told my mom to shut. I've never told my mom to shut up. But I was like, mom, shut up. And then my brother, he, what he did was he got up. And stepped over to the next row of seats to act like he didn't know us. Oh my god! <laughs> he... <laughs> you know it's bad when your brother's like, "Peace." Yeah. Right. When he's and like, th- "Um, no." <laughs> and that's pretty much how he was. He's like, "I don't know these people. I don't want to be around these people." That's fair. Mm. My brother would do that. Oh, that would make me so upset too. I'd be like, "Can you not?" And I'm, but and I'd also be like, "We're never going to the theater again, ever again." <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely right. not. I love seeing movies. It's like one of my favorite hobbies when it's not a pandemic. So like, mm-hmm. it's been weird not going to the theater. But yeah, like so many weird experiences. I remember like one of my memories as a kid is like when the first Madagascar movie came out and my little brother was super tiny then sitting in the very front row and then kept cracking up at the lemurs <laughs> like all you could hear is his the lemurs were his little, little kid yeah he's like hee hee I'm like oh my gosh the theater thought was funny but it's that hilarious. is cute though that is like, cute though yeah you're adorable how close are you to your Oh wait, Krisha, do you have siblings? No, you ha- you said you have yes. a brother. Do you have other siblings? I have two older brothers, and then okay. I um, I had I have a younger half brother who passed away a few years back, and but I'm the like out of them, I'm the only girl. So that was okay. Okay, fun growing up being the only girl. They double teamed on me a lot, and it was oh, not I bet. fun. Um, that's the story that my little brother has with my sister and I. Um, there's only three of us, but it was very much like that, where it was like, and we're both significantly older than him. Like, I'm six years older, my my sister is five years older, so what we said mm. went, and of course, because he's the only boy, he got, you know, th- the whole dynamic was different for him than it was for us growing up, so there's, there's a lot of bitterness between the three of us as as kids, but as adults, we're all just like, yeah, you're pretty cool. Shut up, though. <laughs> we love right. you, but stay away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Part where has to dry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, because I gotta draw on the, the rest of it. Everybody's looking so cool. Yeah. I love it. Sure. Yes, I'm closer to some of them than others because. We're all pretty close in age, so there's six of us and seven and a half years with no twins. 
which is crazy to me as an adult. <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay. Um, so like I'm really closest to the youngest one in my family, and then my sister who was right after me who's passed away. So like those and then I mean we're not on bad terms, but yeah, there's just different interests sometimes. So mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yes. It's all good. Um, me and my brothers were a year and a half apart. So, me and my um, the middle one, Nate, mm-hmm. we get along pretty well. Me and my oldest, we can get along okay, but like mm-hmm. long periods of time, we're we're trying to kill each other. Like no, mm-hmm. because okay. like of okay. course he's the oldest. And he's like, well, I'm the boss and I'm the youngest. I'm like, you're not the boss of me. You know, so it's, it's all bad. Like, if you would have yeah. saw us this weekend, we were fight. It was it was funny, though. I wish we I wish you could record some of our antics that goes on, <laughs> especially with me and him. No, because what happened was it was Thanksgiving and he was messing with me. I was just chilling on the couch watching TV because I already did my cooking. And then he comes in and starts messing with them. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to kick your butt. And he's like, do it. So I get up and we're just talking smack. But I walk away and all of a sudden he runs and jumps on me. Now, as we were talking about being short, I'm the shortest in my family. Okay. So he's at least six, I want to say six, seven or so. So he jumps on me and I was not prepared for it. So we Mm -hmm. fall back. But we fall back into my mom's clay vase that hits the wall Ooh. and we just froze because we already know we messed up well <laughs> we messed up because she started to look Let like phrase that. <laughs> right like oh my god he messed up because he started it and mm-hmm. so all of a sudden my mom was like what happened and i'm like mama he broke your wall like because there's a hole in the wall i'm like he did it and she just goes off i'm like he's like no i'm like you did it i didn't do nothing you know, and then like <laughs> the other, <laughs> and then the other day, like I got revenge on him because I cooked, I cooked some ramen, and I put it on the table, and I went to get something to drink, and he takes my bowl of ramen and runs around and starts eating. It. Oh no! So I'm and Wee- I got so right. Yeah. So I got so yes. No, my food. So what happened was. I did. I did it back to him on Sunday. He made two sandwiches, and when he went to get something to drink, I took the plate of sandwiches and started running around the house, taking bites of his sandwiches and whatnot. And it's just that's our relationship. You guys live in the house Crazy. of petty, and I'm here for it. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, and that was like I said, that was just the beginning of the pettiness like we were fighting over the chair of who sit what where and whatnot it's yeah it was beyond petty sounds like siblings to me yep Mm -hmm. that's the best part about siblings though honestly Mm -hmm. it's like yeah it's like one of those where i can bully and make fun of my siblings but god forbid someone else does it you don't have the right to do that somebody ever comes up trying to trying to play something silly with either of my siblings and they they are gone they're gone they don't know that they're gone but they're gone right goodbye bye because my so my sister's nickname is evie and in school uh when we were in middle school that's when pokemon started to become big for the first time so Mm -hmm. you can imagine everybody was pretending to throw or actually throwing pokeballs at her trying to catch the evie and rude not that's not sliding with me at all right okay now that i did that i think i wanted to go to the next step yeah i think it was also funny when they like broke him back to the movie um they broke him out of jail (laughs) That was hilarious. Yes. And he had the little doll. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. And he was so excited to like play with it. And, like of course okay, they so knew that that would be the thing he'd be into. Yeah, because he's so, so he's a narcissist. <laughs> he can't can't help himself. He couldn't. But my my favorite part of it and, it and they did a meme of it and I didn't realize 
what it was a part of until like mm-hmm. I seen the movie. But it's him getting into his suit after like what twenty years, and he is like really struggling mm-hmm. to get in. And then all of a sudden he's like, Ugh, it still fits. So they did a meme with that about cosplay talking about now if we go back to conventions us getting into our cosplay talking about self fits I feel that I honestly do feel that like I'm gonna be struggling getting into some of my other cosplays I'm like yeah it's oh, no. as I'm fucking us out hundred <laughs> yeah, percent absolutely hundred <laughs> percent had that thought too. I was like, is this what it's going to be like fitting into any clothes after the pandemic? So I feel like I've just lived in leggings for like a year and a half now. So <laughs> truly, right. truly. And it's been nice. That's the worst part is it's been right? so nice. <sighs> so good. <laughs> so I'm curious, what is everyone's favorite NYX product? I love their, their vivid brights. Yeah, their eyeliners. I'm obsessed with them. Especially their vivid bright ones, the cobalt blue. I always wear that one. Yeah. So fun. I like their um, lip products because, like, their matte lips. I, I just love. Mm-hmm. I love wearing the matte lips because, like I said, I'm literally using one of them right now for my Black Widow stamp lips. But also, like, because if you look at my little stack, um, have you guys ever used Juvia's? Uh, is it palettes or place? Um, Place. Uh, place. Place. Um, mm-hmm. Have you ever used any of their products? Because if not, I have I so it. many of their products. I love okay. them. I love they're them. on my list. I haven't used them yet because I'm trying to use up some of the makeup I have because I have so much of it. Yeah, and they're yeah. when I replenish, they're on my list to buy. So <gasps> yes, good. I yes. have so many of their palettes. Um, it's ridiculous. Like I, my friend told me because I have so many makeup palettes. I think I had over like thirty at one point and so my friend banned me from buying any more palettes she was like well if you buy another palette you have to get rid of two i'm like but but i like my palette why would you restrict me like that right and i told her it's all in the gist of cosplay i need all these colors for cosplay Mm -hmm. you know and she's like no you don't and i'm like i do i'll use them and I she's do like, know. <laughs> right. But she got on me the point that like some of them are still like unused and brand new. Like I'm like, okay, fine. You like, win. All right. I guess I don't need all of these. <laughs> Thank I you. Like this is killing book. me. <laughs> you <laughs> look so cool. So Mia, when I get to see you next, can we? Can you do that makeup again? And I photograph you, please. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Of course. She looks like a phoenix. I love it. I was going to do um, the hourglass right here, but that's just gonna. That's just not. That's just not in the I cards. Just did it Let's on my just list. be happy this came out <laughs> like this. Like, it's me. awesome. You're like I'm capped. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I put this in okay. in my in my makeup video, but if you want a really strong strong blush, this is the brand. Mm. This is the brand. This is the magic. Oh, truly. Like you barely touch it and it comes out like that. I literally only tapped it for like a I second. I like. Super wet. Okay. stars. Officially done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> These are our Black Widow looks. We have our glamorous, glamorousness here. I like how we all have different interpretations. Absolutely. And like how Creature right. has her hourglass lips. Mm-hmm. They're very cool. I it's like it. So beautiful. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, you went I, glitter-tastic over there. Right. I'm about to say all that glitter. I'm so envious, but scared to like ever do anything with glitter. Yep. Yep. All right. So these are our Black Widow looks. Let us know what your favorite is and let us know what you'd like us to do next. We always like hearing from you and seeing your feedback. So yes, we hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching as always. Bye.